Hello, in this video we're going to look at positive externalities. So we'll start with an inverse market demand, which is nothing more than marginal benefit or the private marginal benefit for lawn tick control treatment, and that's given by this equation. The market supply or inverse market supply, which represents marginal cost of production, is given by this equation, price equals 0.1Q. We're going to assume that lawn tick control has a spillover benefit or external benefit, and that marginal external benefit is captured by this equation, where MED is marginal external benefit. So the idea here is the use of tick control treatment reduces the number of ticks not only on your lawn, the private marginal benefit, but it'll have spillover effects by reducing the number of ticks on your neighbor's lawns. So first we're going to come uh, first we're going to look at the competitive outcome, the unregulated outcome, uh, ignoring spillover benefits, the external benefits. And all we're going to do is set price equal to marginal cost. Okay, I'm uh, going to find where the market demand intersects the market supply. And doing that, uh, collecting the Q terms here, uh, the equilibrium quantity is 50 and the equilibrium price is $5. In the face of an external benefit, a positive externality, this, will, this market outcome will be inefficient. Uh, we will be under-providing the good. To find the socially optimal or efficient outcome, we need to capture the true social benefit of using lawn tick control, and that's going to be captured by the marginal social benefit. The marginal social benefit is the private marginal benefit plus the marginal external benefit. So all I'm going to do is add up the two equations from the previous screen. So the marginal benefit curve price equation was given by this. The marginal external benefit equation was given by 5 minus 0.05Q. So just adding that up. And now we're going to set the marginal social benefit equal to the marginal cost. So efficiency here is doing something up into the point where the marginal social benefit equals the marginal cost, where we're accounting for both private benefits and external benefits. So setting those two equations equal, collecting the Q terms, solving for Q, the equilibrium quantity is 60, and the equilibrium price here is $6. And uh, like I said uh, from before, when there's a positive externality present, the socially optimal outcome will exceed the market outcome or unregulated market outcome. Let's take a look at this graphically. So the first thing we did, we found the market outcome. So we had the demand curve or private marginal benefit curve here, 10 minus 0.1Q. And we found where that intersected the market supply which is given by marginal cost equals 0.1Q. And those were the numbers we found. Equilibrium quantity of 50, equilibrium price of $5. What we did in step two is we took the private marginal benefit curve and we added to it the marginal social benefit curve. So adding those two curves up, we have this marginal social benefit curve that looks like this, given by the equation 15 minus 0.15Q. We found where marginal social benefit equals marginal cost. Getting those numbers we saw in the last screen, an equilibrium quantity of 60 and a equilibrium price of $6. The last thing I want to do is ask what size per unit subsidy would result in the socially optimal or efficient outcome? Well, at the efficient level of output, where Q equals 60, the vertical distance between the two marginal benefit curves, the marginal social benefit and the private marginal benefit, gives the correct size of the subsidy. In this case, it's going to be $2, 6 minus 4. So again, right here at the socially optimal outcome of 60 units, this vertical distance right here between the marginal social benefit and marginal benefit curve is just 6 minus 4, or $2. So the argument here is that if we were to subsidize this market uh, with a $2 per unit subsidy, the equilibrium would result in 60 units of output, the efficient amount of uh, tick control product being applied. So how do we do that? We're going to take the marginal benefit and we're going to add the $2 subsidy to it. So something like this. 
So the, the, the marginal benefit plus the subsidy is given by this equation, 12 minus 0.1 Q. Set that equal to marginal cost and solve. We get Q equals 60 and the price of $6. And just one thing to note here with the $2 per unit subsidy to consumers, consumers will pay the sellers $6. So they're willing to bring more to the market. And consumers then will get back $2 from the government for each unit purchase. So the consumer's net price is going to be 6 minus 2. The $6 they pay the sellers minus the $2 government subsidy. So consumers will be out of pocket $4 when they go and buy a unit of tick control product. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.